From Abuja. Hello, thank you for being a part of our show. We appreciate you. I'm Magnus Paco, and this is Magnus Paco GVA. As always, it's all about how we can raise the level of living. That's what it's all about. In view today, fragility and political parties. The ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, has split. A new group called the Reformed APC has declared that it has broken away from the ruling party. What happened? Engineer Buba Galadima, a veteran politician and former ally of President Muhammadu Buhari, has emerged as chairman of the new reformed APC. Stay with us because we had him here in our studios to tell us what happened and what's going on. But before this, in our hidden economics, we show how the World Cup has betrayed poverty. In this case, we mean the poverty of nations. Now up next in our quick view, we want to see how well you know some popular political parties. That's coming right up. A political party is an organized group of people, often with common views, who come together to contest elections and hold power in government. Sometimes, and in many places, in particular Africa, tribal and religious differences are set aside in order to form a party to achieve a common goal. It was against this background that the African National Congress, ANC, was formed. The ANC is the Republic of South Africa's ruling political party. It has been the ruling party of post-apartheid South Africa, beginning with the election of Nelson Mandela in 1994. In this connection, when was the African National Congress, ANC, formed? 1922? 1923? 1924? or 1925. In Nigeria, the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, began as a coalition of several political bodies with the intention to defeat the then ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP. In this regard, how many political parties came together in the APC to face the PDP in the 2015 elections in Nigeria. Two, three, four, or five. Still in view, Buba Galadima and his new reformed APC. Don't go away. You can't miss this. Sí, sí, sí. So I'm using my sense 
Thanks to the God and the property say when they were together, the great and the inimitable Nigerian brothers duo, P Square, in their 2014 hit song, Taste the Money. Well, you can also call it testimony, because people will often give a testimony after they have escaped disaster or somehow overcome some very difficult challenge. Economics is about scarcity and choices. Making choices implies that one alternative is selected over another. Our resources or goods are scarce or limited. And so at any one time, we have only so many factories, so much crude oil, so many people, and so on. But our wants and our desires for the things that we can produce with these resources are unlimited. If our resources were unlimited, we would say yes to every single thing we want. In this case, there would be no need for economics. So since our resources are limited, we cannot say yes to everything and must make choices and then face the cost of foregoing the alternative we did not choose something economists call opportunity cost. Okay, let's cut to the chase. So here comes the once in four years World Cup soccer, and we must choose whether to spend thousands of dollars, if at all we even have it, to travel to Russia, or perhaps to use it for food and other basic necessities back at home. Clearly, like most people, Africans are passionate about their soccer. But if you check the attendance during the group stages of the World Cup, when African teams were still in contention, you clearly saw a cruel absence of African fans. Even when fans from other developing countries, such as Argentina, Colombia, Peru, and Panama, clearly and almost overwhelmingly populated the Russian stadiums. Where were the African fans when their nations played? Well, mostly at home, back in Africa, held back by poverty. So the World Cup has betrayed poverty, exposing its vicious stranglehold over Africa. And now the World Poverty Clock, a web tool produced by World Data Lab, has indicated that in May 2018, Nigeria surpassed India in the number of people in extreme poverty. Nigeria is now said to have 87 million people in extreme poverty, compared to 73 million in India. And notice we are talking about those in extreme poverty, not the total number of people in poverty altogether. That number is a lot higher well over 110 million people in Nigeria. According to the Broken Institution, Africa already accounts for about two-thirds of the world's extreme poor. They contend that if current trends persist, Africa will account for nine-tenths by 2030. And sadly, 14 of 18 countries where the number of extreme poor is rising are in Africa. Africa is rising, and some Africans can taste the money. So why is this population in extreme poverty also rising? Maybe this Russian World Cup is indeed giving us a testimony. Our hidden economics. Je m'appelle Chop Money. <laughs> hey, it's good to be saving for rainy days. Nice show. Cause you know it's here. Life is so delicate. Oh, oh, oh. So make you not see me as evidence. Papa got my confidence. Yes. His blessings are endless. So hey. as if he said, I don't go. Oh. Some people they bubble. Oh. Hey. I continue the struggle. Oh. The struggle they double my hustle. Oh. Hey. As if he said, I don't go.
Before we start our discussion, here are our quick view answers. The ANC was initially founded as the South African Native National Congress, SANNC, on 8th January 1912. The organization was renamed the ANC in 1923. Although three parties initially formed the APC, by the time of the election, the new PDP and a faction of ABGA had joined the coalition. Therefore, five groups, namely ACN, ANPP, CPC, NPDP, and a part of ABGA all formed the APC for the elections of 2015. For comments, adverse, and sponsorship, please see our information displayed on the screen. So, has the All Progressives Congress, APC, split? A group called the Reformed APC has emerged, saying they are the authentic APC. We were able to have the group's chairman, Engineer Buba Galadema, in our studio for a discussion to find out what happened. We are also trying to reach Comrade Adams Oshomole, chairman of APC, or his representative, in order to provide his view on the matter. Engineer Buba Galadema is a veteran and very astute political operative, having been National Publicity Secretary of the NPN, National Financial Secretary of the NRC, National Secretary of CPC, DG of National Maritime Authority, and indeed also a member of the Board of Trustees and National Caucus of the APC. Please join us in our discussion with Engineer Buba Galadima. Okay, so I have to call you chairman. <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> That's what you are. So, so Chairman, so a political upheaval took place yesterday, suddenly in the APC, and, and you've become Chairman. So it, it means that there are two Chairmen in the APC right now. Is that what that means? There, there are one and a half Chairmen in the APC. Okay. I am the authentic National chairman. Oh, okay. All right. So you are the authentic chairman. But they had, but the APC had a convention. Correct. About a week or so ago. Yeah. And one Adam Soshomole was elected chairman. Yeah. So that he, that was a half election. Uh, the election was a nullity. Okay. In the sense that uh, due process was not followed. The uh, the the procedure and uh, and the uh, how the elections went were a negation of the constitution of the party. Okay. Uh, a lot of people were denied access because they were not allowed to buy forms initially at the ward level, mm -hmm. so as to contest either as delegates or as officers of the party. Mm -hmm. And um, as you know, or as everybody knows. Uh, some powerful people, either in authority or powerful by cash, uh, had just cornered the entire process and uh, just listed their own people as duly elected. Uh, uh, there are a lot of litigations all over the country, as I speak to you now. It's been looked into by the judiciary and it's been determined. Uh, it is this flawed process from the world level that came up to the national level, which okay. produced uh, Comrade Adams Aliyu Oshumale mm. as a purported chairman of the APC. And even at that level, mm. even at that level, uh, the election did not follow a good process because 18 officers, including Adams Oshumale and Maimalabuni, the national secretary, mm. uh, 
did not follow the, the constitution of the party, section 20, subsection 1, which says that if a candidate, even if validly nominated as the only candidate for a position, mm. the electoral officer on that day should put to the congregation, meaning the convention, yes. whether they have accepted such a person by a yes or a no vote okay. or by using the ballot, yes and no. So by, that by actually voting, voting with the ballot, voting okay. with the ballot okay. yes okay. and no, yeah. uh, to find out whether the man was not imposed. Mm. But the chairman would only say, do you accept so, so, so nomination? And the crowd say yes. There he was should. No there question. was no question as to whether other that was people against against. Yeah, nothing like so that. So you wouldn't determine whether okay. the man was validly elected okay. or not because okay. you you didn't hear the voice vote to okay. determine which one is, is 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 bigger. But the report was that that he was elected by by acclamation by every day he was unanimously elected. How would you know that it is it is it is it is unanimous mm -hmm. when they didn't ask the no? Okay. to determine whether the yes was unanimous or the no is unanimous. Mm. Since it was not counted, in law, it is a nullity. And I would uh, want to put uh, for records uh, and uh, really uh, roll out uh, my uh, credentials. Now, and ma matter of fact, I wanted to ask you that, you know, you, you have quite a strong pedigree. Everybody knows who you are. Uh, as far as uh, Nigerian politics is concerned, and you you actually were a force in the APC, and before that the CPC. So so what happened between you were very close. In fact, you are supposed to be an ally of uh, President Muhammad Buhari. So so what essentially happened? I became a founding member of the APC because I relinquished my position as the National Secretary of the CPC mm. together with AACN, AMPP, mm. the ND, uh, NPDP, mm. and a faction of ABGA to, to, to form. But, but, but actually, your, the APC was formed initially from three parties. Three right? parties. Yes, the three parties. ACN, but later on, the uh, N. NPDP yes. and ABGA joined, joined you. Okay. So we together uh, formed the Na Interim National Executive Committee and okay. later the elections to officers of the party. Yes. I had <clears throat> been since yes. the national, uh, I, was, I was a member of the Board of Trustees of the party. Mm. I was, until my election as the national chairman, a member of the National Caucus, national caucus Board of okay. Trustees okay. and National Caucus. Okay. Now, having, having put on ground this pedigree, it means I have made personal sacrifice. Absolutely. And if we see the party or the government formed by that party drifting, mm. it is incumbent of us to sit down and arrest that drift mm. because we had a vision of forming a party that would be democratic, would be fair, and will do justice and submit ourselves to the rule of law which you know as Nigerian, that this doesn't exist either with the party or government. Therefore, we believe that nobody, no usurper, can just come midday and sit down in his bedroom and write names of people and tell us that these are the people that were elected by the people. Since the people have no voice, we are their voice. Yeah. And we are acting on their behalf to salvage this party. And in this congregation, I can assure you that within the next few days, we will take over the National Assembly. Most of them will become, we will retain the Senate President, we will retain the Speaker as a, uh, as a reformed as APC, APC members. So uh, I've laid this foundation. They, they, they will be there as, as reformed APC of members. Of course, they will be in the National Assembly as a reformed APC uh, 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 members. Okay. Yeah, members. So this is the situation okay. that we find ourselves. And uh, let me assure you mm -hmm. that we have the preponderance and 
big support mm. from all over including even non politicians mm. who, who 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 really are hailing our 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 courage and bravery to take on these kind of cabals are you who, people are you insurgents in the party well we may not be insurgents no no are we guerrillas okay. but uh, we have to use guerrilla tactic to get to what we want because everything that had happened was kept secret mm. until it was unfolded yesterday and i assure you mm. if the authorities had known mm. that we were going to meet and 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 say the kinds of things we said mm. i'm sure these people been 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 very allergic mm. to opposite opinion they could have stopped us try to stop it <laughs>